Kia ora, my dear friends. I hope you are doing really well today. Um, sending you lots of love as always from Aotearoa here in New Zealand. So as you can see, this is going to be a super chilled vibe today um, for our daily practice. So in case you are new to my channel, you're new to me, um, hi and welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I have noticed a, a little bit of an uptick in um, subscribers because I'm letting you guys know that every day during this pandemic, my intention, as long as I'm well, of course, as long as I'm able to do this, um, is to um, offer a daily meditation, a daily practice of some kind that will allow us to help kind of center our minds, um, counter some of the energy that's around um, because you know it is so unprecedented what we're facing and it's of course natural to feel frightened and scared and all of these things um, so those of us who are yoga teachers like myself um, and I have the privilege of being part of a lineage um, and you know astrologers we have a duty in my view um, to provide something. We are still human, we're still just like everybody else. We're, we're still thinking, oh my God, what about this? And what about that? You know, we're, we're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. But I do feel, um, I feel moved to, to offer this for as long as I can, okay? So that's my intention, my loves. If I miss a day or if I miss a few days or whatever, you know, don't panic. There's a whole body of, um, of a, a kind of back catalog now of my work. So even if you, you know, you you miss a day or I miss a day, it's it's all good, okay? So um, this, this is a spontaneous offering from my heart. It cannot be from a place of um, feeling pressured. Um, this is this is very important. If you ever have the good good fortune to find yourself in the presence of a spiritual teacher as I have had the great honor of being um, a student of a spiritual teacher, um, you must never have a sense of, of imposing your own sense of obligation on that person. It's very important that you never do that. Um, everything has to be spontaneous, everything has to be free. And that goes for much that is important in life, if you think about it, right? When we love someone, as soon as it turns into a sense of, oh God, I suppose I have to do this, oh goodness, you know, it, it, you've lost something, haven't you? So, so just a, a, a point of um, a note of, of importance there for you, in case you you weren't aware. But um, I think today, what I want to say to preface, sometimes I preface my vlogs, don't I, with a bit of a trigger warning because I talk about some sensitive stuff. Sometimes I know that I'm going to swear because it's about a heated topic, you know, to a topic that's really like uh, makes my blood boil. And I warn you about that. Today's it's not even a trigger warning. Today's kind of thought before we proceed is just for um is coming from a place of love and compassion from me however uh you know this is a kind of no bs zone in general i'm a no bs type of person for anyone who's new to me who you're not aware of that most of my students my, the people who know me probably already know that i'm very straight up um so what i mean to say is that i may turn comments off anyway i haven't decided yet but I want to let you know that this will not mean anything to you if you use the phrase woo-woo a lot and with serious like intent, yeah? That's one thing. This will not make any sense or have any meaning to you if you have a very strict idea about religion, spirituality, you've been raised in a religion that uh, precludes you from uh, you know anything other than that, then please do not continue to watch this video if that's you, because I do not want to offend you or offend anyone with this video. This is an offering from my heart, as I've said. Um, yes, yeah, so basically if you if you can't uh, allow yourself to kind of um, hold the possibility of other ways of being of other bodies of knowledge traditional knowledge such as is relevant to the Indian spiritual wisdom traditions and um, uh, systems of learning then this is not the video for you okay am I clear I hope this is clear because once I said that we're going to just dive in because I know a lot of you guys really resonate with what I share so it's almost unnecessary but this is just a kind of heads up for anyone who's new to my work new to my channel new to me and doesn't know that you know I'm a yoga teacher I'm a psychotherapist I'm the proud owner of my own radio show 
um, access soul food. So some of you guys are in the soul food whānau, the family. Whānau is the te reo Māori word for family. So if you're in my soul food family, then I'm really honoured and blessed to have you. Um, you know, not everybody is in the whānau, yeah? So I make a distinction between whānau, community, and then the wider circle. So, but many of you who have found me in various places, whether you are a student from 10 years ago in the UK watching this, and I send you my love, or whether you found me on TikTok, whether you kind of with me on LinkedIn, one way or another, we've all connected. Exactly. Some of these like heads up to you, like warnings and trigger warnings, you guys are thinking, well, I don't need that. But yeah, okay, I hope you're with me about why. Let's dive into this. So for those of us remaining now, let's just take a moment today because what we're going to do actually is to focus on something a little bit different. Um, and that will be, and as you can see, very chilled out kind of space in my, in my, um, my, you know, relaxed space, just woken up, no makeup, nothing really. And so really my encouragement to you, I've got my coffee here even, is to maybe use this as a soothing way to either settle yourself if the news is getting to you about now or you know someone you know or someone you someone or someone you know <laughs> the dog of the friend of the person that you know someone you know has got it you know and you're starting to panic or whatever this will hopefully settle your nervous system and soothe you um maybe a couple of points as well to share about just because we're going to chant we're going to chant a mantra the melody of which I have made up myself. I do not know of this melody existing anywhere. Don't else. just be you're too, too keen to jump up. I do this like, it's like a meerkat, right? <laughs> because as far as I'm aware, this is from my own heart, okay? Um, but basically, you know, there's some ideas around um, that, you know, we consider that Shiva in the Indian spiritual tra tradition is the destroyer, destroyer God. And he is part of... Um, a kind of trine of gods who are kind of they, their responsibility and role in the traditional way of understanding is is the creation and destruction of the world right um so that cycle of of birth and death and rebirth so prevalent even in nature if you if you just look around you at the seasons everything in our bodies this cycle always goes on and so this is my understanding of course that that shiva is the part of the destruction part of that equation and so it kind of makes sense doesn't it and it was an astrologer who, who gave me this this idea even though it's in my it's in my awareness but um because i have my own practices chanting is not necessarily one of my practices but um, I love, I love it. It's, it's a wonderful thing. So it's wonderfully soothing. It, again, even if you're more scientifically minded, we know that some of these vowels, these words have a really soothing effect on the nervous system. Uh, and the power of the singer's voice has some potential for making you feel good. Even if you don't want to say healing, even if you don't want to use any of those words, right? Just the sense of feel good, which might release endorphins for you. You never know. This this may be useful to you. Okay, so it's a it's a mantra that of the melody of which I've created, um, devoted to Shiva, and really in the with the prayer that we can be sustained in this time when there is so much loss of life, um, and we all feel that uncertainty. You know, so I think um, the only other thing I will add is that you know chanting in and of itself to my mind and my understanding and a lot of people would not agree with this but this comes from a higher okay. well or my own from my own heart this this comes from um higher wisdom i can say that what what i believe is that chanting in and of itself is not going to do that much okay so if you for example just to say if you were chanting and going out drinking stealing from people you know your life otherwise is not really reflective of anything um uh, of a higher order of humanity then it, you know chanting isn't going to do that much you really need a spiritual practice but all of these things can be a bridge to getting us closer to our awareness the, the of the truth of who we are okay so that's my intention i'm not offering this as a cure or anything like that it's really so that we can reduce the stress feel good so let's get started and i encourage you to make your space at home wherever you are comfortable you can listen along you can learn it because it's super easy i will add the text somewhere maybe in the description below um, this video so that you can you can see the words and i will have to learn and study the, the the vowels and stuff it's very easy for me to sing this stuff 
because of my own kind of spiritual heritage and I, I thank the heavens for that but it's not necessarily easy for me to write it <laughs> right uh, and start with the breath whenever we do anything we first of all bow and I bow in gratitude to my teacher with love from my heart offering this practice with the intention of uplifting all of us all all who hear it it's very simple you know we're all the same actually you know you could do this okay let's just take a breath inhale and exhale now inhale and exhale through your nose exclusively spine straight and as you listen, you can close your eyes, keeping your spine tall, letting the words flow over you and just focus on the third eye space. You can join in as you wish, okay? And we will spend about two minutes in this practice. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Thank you for joining me my friends namaste to you blessings love health peace om shanti 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 see you in the next one jo